hello guys um welcome back once again to ixoft original and this is the another episode for the coding you know we basically we're going to do um, the basic ones uh, which wouldn't uh, you know take quite longer time uh yeah so we we just gonna do it like yeah we just have to move fast yeah so with no further ado let's get started with the system the other that the other day we saw how we could um update our systems and it was very very fantastic now uh, let's see how we can code all these so um when we click on this that is the tap page one so we will say that tap control one dots select tab which is um zero right so it's gonna select the tab zero so let's use the call sign and see if this oh, okay i think uh oh it's select tab not selected tab select tab zero so we just have to put this okay so we're just gonna select the tab zero so just copy this go home select teacher put it here that will be the tab one all right so we just go back reports settings is the um tab two and this report is going to be like um frm report print dot show then you say me dot hide right then we have to say that um the settings is the logout you say that uh me dot hide say um form one dot show uh, from one dot um, txt uh, oh no 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 not from one sorry it's frm login so um, frm login dot txt password dot clear frm login dot txt username dot clear right so that is going to be uh, what will be for the um, yeah so let's see how um probably let's see how it works i believe today we can um complete everything then on our next uh yeah we can complete everything at all i mean at all yeah so with this uh students you see you can see that the tabs are being switched you see so when we close this this is not working because uh, we haven't added that code yet we haven't um, gotten to that point but the certain the certain is also working so we can add um after adding the codes we will add something which will uh represent um you know maybe telling us that maybe this is maybe teachers system or something like that so let's add a panel and on this panel i'd like to add it here let's dog it to the top something like that and then um let's set the back color to black All right black. and i'll go to the login and i'll copy this test close it back once again <clears throat> go to the home design paste it here and let's set the font size to uh, 25 i think 25 is good so you will say that um uh, for the for the label that is not going to be the screech checkpoint but it's, it's rather going to be um, um, add uh, that's going to be manage um, student details right so that is it let's copy this come here and then paste it here manage teachers so you have to say teachers details that is awesome so once again let's select um, the size of it which is the size let's use it as 
the minimum size otherwise it will uh, you know misbehave that is awesome so with this i believe uh we are good to go right we are good to go now let's go to the print and um for the print right click and view codes and inside the print select print form event and let's say when the print closes we will say that frm home dot show then you say me dot hide right that is it so just like that we will come to that section later on so for the home that is what is going to happen right all right so i think when we go to report that is it close then it, then it comes okay so i think um the styles of what we added i think we should uh think of it once again and uh, i think the style is like classic way bizarre no i don't like it that way so let's change the form of that style instead of fix two windows yeah let's go to fix single and let's turn maximize minimize box to false maximize box to false right so then we have it like this and let's set our icon back to um our i oh come on let's set it to our icon that is awesome let's see the form main um, um login that one too i i think let's set the form mother style to fix single and let's turn the um maximize box false minimize box false right and then let's go to the uh i think uh the recovery no 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 the recovery so the recovery to uh, we have to uh, set it to fix single then we turn off uh, minimize false maximize false I think uh, this is quite interesting right so let's start the system once again and let's see I, I I love the animation it does you see the animation it just came you see the animation you see that is awesome log out that is awesome all right so this is quite interesting this is quite interesting let's close everything we are working on the form one so i don't want us to contradict with our um print guy and uh everything i don't want i don't want that to happen you know so uh we are working on the home not the print uh not the form one but we are rather working on the um home yeah good so let's get things started now we are going to start with the um student details right so this is um this is going to be txt let's rename them txt student name this is going to be student gender so cmb stand for como box student um gender this is going to be age right so txt student age this is going to be class so txt student class this is going to be a uh, picture box so pick um student or let's say student pick right so student pick and this is going to be student address so txt student address then this is going to be btn add new so btn add new and then this is going to be uh btn save this is going to be btn update so btn update this is going to be btn delete so btn delete excellent so uh we do the same thing for the rest so let's quickly do that this is going to be um txt teacher name and this is going to be uh txt teacher um, gender txt 
teacher age i think I, this is going to be cmb instead of txt right cmb okay so txt uh cmb um, teacher class and then this is going to be um, txt um, teacher address this is going to be um teacher pick and then this is going to be um btn add btn t add new which is which stands for a uh, teacher add new so this is going to be uh btn t save btn t updates and then btn t delete good good and that is awesome we are done now let's go to the settings guy and then we're gonna say that this is gonna be txt uh, user name this is gonna be txt password this is gonna be txt password hint right so uh, let's change it password hints okay and then this is gonna be uh, btn uh, s update good all right so let's go back to the main um to this section you know we, we're going to add some features to this system so click on this txt student name now lower down we have data binding for the text click on this select table which is student name like that select gender for the text we want the text select gender age select the test first one age which is for the student select this class right so select this for the image binding source so just go to the binding source select the image and then select the picture which is the image right select the student id go to the binding source text and select address right so that is it after that save your project go to this section teacher let's do the same thing for the teacher so that is going to be the binding source for the teacher which is the second one teacher name that is going to be the teacher age teacher gender sorry this is going to be the teacher age this is going to be the teacher um, class this is going to be the teacher image right so we just go to the image section select the teacher image this is update so you select the teacher um, address sorry so that is all for now that is all so um i think um for this we don't have to touch anything here let's start by this now when we click on new add new huh we're gonna say that um data binding source right what we're gonna say is we're gonna start by saying that me dot table um table binding source table oh okay let's say table binding source what didn't i get it oh tbl oh sorry guys so me dot tbl 
um, students binding source dot add new right so it's gonna add new so with that let's use um try catch exception to uh, compress any error we will be catching then after that we will say that <clears throat> msg box should show ex dot message uh, we will just go to the save guy now on this save let's use try catch exception right or we can we can then um okay let's use try catch exception let's say me dot validate right so after it validates we will say that me dot um tbl tbl students binding source dot end edit right so we will then say that me dot tbl student um binding manager student add oh student table um i, I think uh, tbl adapter right tbl student uh table adapter right yeah table adapter dot update all which is it should update hot database we will say that me dot um, tbl tbl um, uh, student data set right so let's go back and see i think okay yes that is sms data set so we have to say that um sms data set and that is awesome okay let's use manager instead manager so we say that students um adapter adapter manager right okay so we will say that um okay let's use table adapter wow really mm. all right let's see something here i think um let's drag this and drop this here and let's see something undo that um okay 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 yeah let's do the same thing i think i want to i want to get some code but i i don't know the reason why i'm not getting this i think that is the same thing uh, so i don't know the reason why um uh, okay let's do it this way let's add a new form we will delete this form right i don't need it i'll just i'm just using as a reference let's add a student and let's see okay then let me double click on this save guy to see the code behind that so this save guy let's see yes this is it see so copy that come to the home and then paste it here that was what i'm really looking for so table dot adapter right so why oh okay sorry guys i think um the adapter i didn't add the adapter so this is the adapter right the binding binding navigator right so let's um copy this come to the home section which is the home design uh, come on all right okay then uh, let's say on top of this um, let's paste it here let's see something okay so I think this is quite even enough 
let's go to the farm home and let's see really you've got to be kidding me bro let's see something here I don't know the reason why this is giving me a headache guys sorry for disturbing your time I really don't understand the reason why oh okay this is giving me a headache as I said earlier on so this home let's try to delete this and see delete all these and let's see then let's see if it's going to work again <laughs> okay so guys just add it up and uh just add it up you see add it up and delete right then you just uh take it back but i decide even in my plans i decided to add this guy right i decided to add this um table guy so now with this i think uh we are done you can save it direct from here or uh you know you can click the save guy and that is it so with this save guy after the data set is being done we want it to pop up a message box telling us that um, student um, details saved to the database successfully right then you're gonna say that uh, msg box style dot information then we're gonna say that saved that is all so uh, actually that is all so you, we're gonna use um, msg box ex dot uh, message let's try to catch a message if um, it catches any error that is it so let's see the updates right so for the update we will we will copy this and we will use try as well and we paste it here by this time we will say that um me dot um tbl tbl student um data adapter right table adapter dot update and hot relate update it should update sms this dot um tbl students right so it's gonna update the students table so that is awesome so let's see the delete delete we're gonna say that um try so um let's copy this catch assumption and this delete we're gonna say that we catch exception then we're gonna say that um let's copy this message box right i really love message box after that we say that um updated dated successfully okay now just say updated all right so here we will say that um me dot tbl um me dot tbl um binding source dot remove um current right so it's gonna uh remove at then we're gonna say that um tbl sm sms data dot set dot tbl student uh, let's use a uh, remove and let's see like I'm, I'm quite not sure of this code dot remove current i think it's remove current uh let's see if we can uh be specific of what it should remove no 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 
Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. We made it clear here that the student binding source should be removed. Oh, guys, I don't join it also. All right. So let's test it out and let's see how best it works. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. On picture click event, on picture click event. So we will say that um, we will like for the person when the person clicks on the picture, um, it should probably change the image for the person right so we now have this here and i think uh we can click on add new and now we have a row so we can say that this is um test student one and then the gender we will add it but let's say male age is 17 student class it's a class uh let's say um form 1a uh let's say student address is maybe kumasi uh kumasi then let's save oh, okay so student data saved to database successfully that is the fantastic let's close that and then um let's start it once again and let's see if um what we saved is still there oh okay so the database system is working perfectly fine so with this i can click on delete and it is deleted let's close and let's start it once again let's see if the delete section also is working okay so the delete it didn't um you know save the settings so we will just go back to the form and after it remove current we will say that me dot validate copy that right yes we will do something like this and edit good but first of all let's go back to the form now let's work with the image of this um I think um the image of this um double click on the image when the image is being clicked right when student picture is being clicked now we're going to declare some statements here let's dim ofd ofd as new open file dialog it's a, it's a hidden component right or let's say it's a hidden tool and on this open file dialog what we're going to say is we're going to say that if OFD which stands for open file dialog dot image no let's set the filter first let's say um, OFD dot filter dot filter equal when we talk of the filter the formats um, we want the computer uh, to uh, you know open right so let's say load uh, picture as the title and we we have to say that um, we're going to add um, jpg jpg image then we add um, bmp image then we add um, png image you see then we add um, gif image right so after that you just add this sign then you say that all you you added just declare it so jpg which is uh jpeg then you add the same thing again which is your dot uh bmp you add the same thing again which is dot png you add the same thing again which is dot gif right so just like that that is the filter uh, the system is going to be the, the system is going to open so we will say that um picture box 2 which is student pick um student pick equals to um ofd ofd dot file name right so it's just gonna open that let's declare um really 
oh okay 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 sorry sorry we didn't declare the statement as well if ofd dot um open file dialog if ofd dot show dialog equals to um dialog results okay right then um uh, student this blah 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 should happen right should be this and after that we will um Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's declare um, some statements first here. I think I didn't declare some statements here. So let's go up. Before we do this, um, even let's import, um, go up. Let's say import, import system.data.oledb. Yes, that is the reason why we are having problems. So we will import um system.io to get a smooth uh you know everything yeah then from here let's declare some statements we will declare dim um img name as strange right and then we say that dim da image as ole which is the database image ole adapter right then let's say them ds image as data set right good so from the down here what you're going to say is um it equals to what we're going to say is simple it's equals to the statement we declared right which is the file uh, file name right Oh, uh, sorry. Which is the um, img image equals to the file name, and then we will say that um, our um, student pick dot. Um, we want to stretch the size mode, right? So the size mode um, should be equals to picture box size mode dot um, stretch image. We're gonna stretch the image. Then we're gonna say that student pick um, dot image now should load direct cast from um, it should load a direct cast from our new image I um, think we need to declare new image also um, as up oh, sorry 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 uh, we need to declare new image as a BMP right as a bitmap so what we need to do is um from the top here let's say them uh, bmp as new a uh, bitmap right bitmap which is img name so we're gonna uh use uh bmp right good so it's gonna um it's gonna load um new image right so let's declare new image as well oh i did. let's use new image no 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 let's use bmp let's use bmp so that is going to be um bmp dots file name right oh sorry bmp image right so that is it so after that we will then um end the if then we say that um um wow so we will we will then say that um img no 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 we will say that ofd yes open file dialog open file dialog equals to nothing right then we will say that um Think we should use try right let's use try to suppress all these codes for any error right good so from here i would like to copy this paste it one more time but this i will change this to a um a right then um with this a i will say that um 
msg box should show um, if any um, ae dot message right if it catches any uh, message dot too strange right just like that so after that you will say that um, let's copy the same thing then we ended up here then we say ex right okay so that is it um this shouldn't be exception as well uh let's use argument exception right so that is gonna work absolutely perfect uh so after that um we will pull up a message box telling the person that uh pick um pick picture uploaded uploaded successfully then we will use msg box style dot information then we will say that um uploaded right good now let's try it out and see how it works so i think with this let's delete it and see so it's deleted right good let's add a new row and with this let's say new test student and the gender let's select male age 18 student class form one a form one a uh, student details kumasi ghana okay student picture okay uh value cannot be no parameter name path wow okay let's save this it's been saved successfully let's see if our delete um, guy worked we will work with a parameter oh so the guy worked so let's delete this guy close it now stop it let's start it again really okay no problem let's work with this i don't know the reason why i'm getting this error okay so um okay let's declare um oh okay let's declare this as file dialog equals to uh new open file dialog right so dim ofd as file dialog all right equals to a uh, new open file dialog good so after that we say that ofd.filter should be this so uh this statement should be cut out and it should be brought here right okay so after that we said that if ofd dot show dialog equals to um dialog resource okay then image dot name equals to um ofd dot file name then we say that dim bmp um as new bitmap equals to image student pick size mode and then the size equals to this okay then after that we, we display a message so um after that we will say that um our ofd should be nothing catch exception so i don't know the reason why this is not working man i don't know the, the i don't know the reason why this is not working anytime we click on this it should create oh okay 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 it's not working man so let's update this right let's update this 
I just want to add an image like um, this image see picture uploaded successfully now I will just update updated details successfully now I have the image here as you can see there is no empty image right so I can click on new select an image and then choose this image okay then we say uh, student 2 gender is male age is 55 student class form 2b say Kumasi save data saved successfully now you can see that this is it right you can see that this is it you see and everything is working entirely perfect let's close and then get back and see if um, our student data is uh, still there okay so I think it's there click on next click on previous it's still there so we can say that original name uh, I change the name let's update and see okay so you can see here it's now original name right so let's close and then see that if um, we have the we still have the original name being updated there okay so original name that means our database is working perfectly fine okay Charlie uh, is the same thing for the um, is the same thing for the uh, what do you call it the the the, the headmaster uh, the teacher sorry so let's quickly let's check our time and see um, okay 41 minutes okay I think let's end here let's end here and then on our next lesson we will tackle the teacher as well then we tackle the update then we add um, you know the report and then we are good to go right okay until we meet again have a nice day and iksoft original is out but i'm giving you a remembrance that if you have if you, are, you have yet not uh, subscribed to my channel do where to subscribe so that you won't be missing any upcoming episode have a nice day and adios